So here we are, Monday morning, heading to go source. Hopefully, we will find some stuff to flip online for profit. If you're new to this channel, my name is Lacey. Who are you? What's your name? Nothing. That's nothing. There's Dane, he's going with me today. Balancing. Can you do it? Whoa, you can. Tell Daddy how to come on. Where are we going? Do you know? What's this store called? What is this store called? You don't know. Goodwill. So this is my most favorite Goodwill to go to as long as we get up and go early. There's always great stuff here. Um, these looked really neat, but they were like a plasticky material. So I just passed them by, but I thought they were pretty cool. I always check the linen section and I wish I would have picked up that quilt because I really like colors on it. I think it would have done okay reselling. And then I did find a few backpacks. Didn't pick anything up, but they were some cute ones and Mac really liked some of them. not trying to dash towards a cart or anything so i am just pretending like i care about these vhs's while the guy walked away from the cart <laughs> do you guys do that or is it just me so i've been wanting to get more into the like kitchen stuff so i see this i'm gonna look that up and they are always playing their music so loud in this Goodwill. So I do apologize for me having to speed up a lot of these clips, trying not to get copyrighted so here. This is at $5.99, and it has more sold than listed. Other thing over there is pricing $9.99, and it's way doesn't sell for as much. Wow! Wow! James is dropping everything on the ground. Also, I apologize for my voice and sniffling. I've had a cold, so you can hear it throughout this video. I know it's not pleasant. Is that a big tractor? Uh-oh, pick it up. Our generation. Baby come up. Some of these actually can sell for a lot. 99 cents. If you ever see the large comet, get it they sell good yeah he doesn't have a shirt so if only we could find the one brand the stife or however you say it it's old old real old yeah no it is actually old Brand new. No, it's a star. It lights up. I have one of those brand new in the packaging at home. 2020. Hey, if you ever see a Care Bear that's blue and the cloud is upside down, or the cl yeah, the cloud, it's snowing, it's raining up, like up. That's a mess up one and they're worth like $200. Yeah. Look at that. Animal land. What do you mean another one? This one. Oh yeah. I'll have to look at it. That one looks like one of those rushed in ones. Are they worth anything? Do you know? Are you just getting stuff and then we're going to look it all out? Look, Mac. Look who it is. Who's that? Jake and the Neverland Pirates. He's a pirate. Has he ever watched that show? Hey, this one might be. Here, hold this one. It looks like a vampire or something. I thought. Sonic snoring bear. So this is a bookshelf. Have all the pieces. I'm 
on his paddle. It does work. Pass overboard on your knife. Then there's this, but it's got some damage to it. What in the world? dollars for the set. I think it's a good deal though. All of these will be in love. And let's go. If there's ever anything in my videos that you guys see that you are like, holy crap, I can't believe she didn't pick that up or something along those lines if you know it sells or it's worth something let me know in the comments below because i love learning about new things and i'm sure i pass by many many items every time i'm in the thrift store that i just don't realize is worth something so if you have any knowledge to let me know please do so in the comments just see that And also this Goodwill, like, look how full these shelves are. They are always this full, all the time. Every other Goodwill that I go to, the shelves are bare. Mine and my town are always bare. There's, like, nothing. Like, it's so sparingly spaced out. It's not even fun to look at. But look how much is here. Like, it, I could be here all day just searching through this stuff. Um, and every time we go to this Goodwill, they are bringing car after car after car all, any time of the day that we actually go, there's always new carts coming out, which is really awesome. Look at that candle with that little duck in it. Night. It's a candle. Oh, look at these little foxes. Is that one set on the back of that one? Or something? There, it goes like that. Hey, look, another trinket thing. Nothing. Oh, that's a neat Avon one. You don't even need six more what? Did you not see those bookends? Look. Look. You did? That fish? Five million. At least they're selling them together. I feel like a lot of times they go in there. Okay. Look at these little things. They're saucy, yum, spicy. <laughs> Don't know anything about dolls. Where are we at? Mooresville, I think. Mooresville. We've never been to this one. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to this one. No. Looks different than all the other ones, right? All right. We're going in. Let's go hurry. Yeah. All right, so we're at Goodwill number three. The last one we did find a few things. It wasn't that great at all. <coughs> but this one, we've never been to either, like the last one. Um, we actually pulled up to a Goodwill outlet, a bin store. 
and we just don't have the time to sit and sift through there so then we decided to leave and just come here and check this one out because we only have like 20 minutes before we got to start heading back home so that's what we're going to do now are they both locked Look, it's like a little. Yeah. Look, it has good white sheets. And so now I'm in my local Goodwill here and just wanted to share the pricing on these chairs. They were in really good shape. I did not get a cart and Every time I don't get a cart, I usually find some neat stuff. And this is the very first one of these I've ever found. So I was super excited and definitely picked that up for $4.99. All right, so I have everything kind of all in a scatter. Um, we're kind of rearranging our boxes and totes and everything, putting like items in them. That's how I'm going to uh, do this instead of just the numbering system. I'm going to do that as well, but I'm trying to keep like things in the totes. So we've been doing that, but I do have, um, I think I have, I think I remember everything we picked up. So I'm going to share with you all of that. So we grabbed this. Potter's Corner little bee mug. I thought it was really cute. It's like a pink collar. It's kind of not coming on camera. Um, for 99 cents. Inside of there, I did pick up this little um, well, like crystal uh, trinket dish for 99 cents as well. Um, these two pink they're pink in color, so I don't think you can see the colors, but they were 99 cents each. There was a third one, but it had a chip, so I just left it and only purchased the two, and so we'll be listing those. Um, I have not went through the games yet to see if they're all there, but this was $2.99, so I picked up this. Haven't really comped much of this out to even know, so I will be putting stuff on the screen for you guys to see. Um, found this vintage cd will cd rack i thought that was just really neat looking so and it was 6.99 um this candle holder it's very heavy paid 2.99 for it and this little spot like part spins around so there's that um we did pick up not these hats i do have these all listed I'm trying to find a different spot for our hats and then, look at this girl's little face. She's not really worth that much. Neither one of them really are. But we ended up paying just 99 cents each for them. Um, I like the her, this expression on her face. <laughs> There's those. We picked up this Wildcraft. Um, it's a, like, you'll, like, you learn about all of, all kinds of, like, outdoor, like, you know, different 
what are they called? Uh, like a herbal herbal garden. So two ninety nine for that, and it looked like it had really good comps. So more solds than listed even. And also this game, which like I said, I do have to make sure all the pieces are in all of these. But Sharpshooters had really good listings. Way more solds than listed, and I paid two ninety nine for that. I don't know. I think I got this at a different time. I'm not sure if I showed that yet. I have Brinley here holding this big mushroom tapestry up for me. You do. And it was $5.99. It's not worth very much, actually. I think, like, maybe $15. I just thought it was really cool. So, pick that up. And then over here, um, picked up this hammer. Any kind of medical supplies you pick up, as long as they're, like, in good shape and not, like, you know, stuff that is, like, universal use, I guess. Like, something like this. I would definitely check into it because... Um, some can be worth good money, but we found this and we grabbed this heart shape, um, bread tube, this pampered chef bread tube. A lot of pampered chef items are a good pickup as well. I haven't looked this up. I don't know if this, I mean, this probably isn't very, very much, but there are a lot of pampered chef that are good pickups. So make sure you check into those. These little critters here, I thought were really cute. And we paid $1.99. This is Honko. I don't think this one is. I think, um, okay, and Nesco from 1986. I think we only actually only paid a dollar for this one, or 99 cents for this one. Grabbed both of those. And I thought he was really cute, this little guy here with his camera and cameraman, Napco. So there's that. This little girl, not really sure. Um... I don't know what you do. You stick flowers in there, maybe. Two ninety nine. I didn't. I don't think there's anything on the bottom. No. So, anyways, picked her up as well. And then this little Rudolph, like uh, it's like a vintage. Not Rudolph. I guess it's got a red nose, but he's white. A uh, little candle holder. And there's some high listings on this for like over $20. So I don't know. I need to look into that more. It does have a little bit of damage, but it is older. Um, what else did I pick up that day? So let's go back over here. Oh, this I do have some of it already listed. So this Lipman um, stethoscope. Brand new. It is a what Caribbean blue collar brand new paid 9.99 for it and hopefully we'll get about 200 bucks for this actually so have that and then i can't think what else we purchased that day oh these are so cute i'll probably i'm gonna pop up better pictures so you can see because the lighting isn't very well but three christmas carolers i paid i think 2.99 each and they are um paper mache christmas carolers mache originals from lakewood ohio so there's three different ones and this one and i think that was in a different video i want to say that maybe was everything no we picked up that um pot stir So, I have sold already a few of those Contigo um, cups. They sold really quick after I listed them. I had got them on clearance at Walgreens. I think I shared my Wal or Walgreens clearance video maybe um, on my Grain and Ivy TikTok when I went to Walgreens and picked up a bunch of clearance. I paid, I think, $4.99 and I've sold those for around $20 each. So, $15 in those. Anyways, at Pot Stir. And I think that's everything we picked up that day that I can, if I can remember right. Um... But I am going to share with you some stuff that is about to go out right now. And so this pot holder, I've had it listed since really last year. So sold it for six plus shipping. I just listed this Mizuno glove. Glove? Glove. And it uh, sold for 15 plus shipping. And then this McDonald's. 
toy. I had it on auction starting at 60 and I had a bunch of watchers on it. Um, and then nobody put in a bid. So then I took it off auction and relisted it for a hundred and someone sent me an offer for 85. So I sold it for 85 and it does have a ton of the characters and pieces and everything to it. So I sold that for 85 plus shipping and then a pair of Birkenstocks I sold for 15 plus shipping. They're in really good shape. I mean, obviously you can tell somebody to wear them, but the outer straps and stuff are in really good shape in the bottoms. So 15 plus shipping. So that's everything that's about to go out. Yeah, I think that's everything that I got that day. So...